Hello everyone, my name is Z-Manzilla, and this is Arcade Hysteria. This is one of the games you can find on the Creator, what was it, uh, the Creator Collection is called. It's a section of Xbox One that uh, has uh, the Xbox One store that has uh, games by independent developers. It's very similar to the uh, the old Xbox Live Arc, uh, Xbox Live Indie section over on the Xbox 360, which I was a huge fan of, and I'm really glad it's coming over to the Xbox One. And so we're going to go ahead and take a look at Arcade Hysteria. Hysteria. Um, so, you know, the it was sort of front-loaded as this sort of weird game where you're sort of in another video game. It's very weird. So it's, it's, it, it's a game within a game, <laughs> I guess. There's a there's a deeper meaning. Let's let's read the instructions here. Right button hits the instructions. Mm -hmm. So, okay, it says, after sneaking into an arcade late at night, you find yourself trapped in an old game called Hysteria. Dodge enemies in Hysteria while collecting power-ups to stay alive in this endless runner. How long can you last in the arcade? Tap or press any button to jump, and double jump, so double jump is enabled. The goal of Arcade Hysteria is to keep your sanity as long as you can, as indicated by the stop top right sanity meter. When the sanity meter is at 50%, the graphics will change, and the game speed will be faster. When the meter hits zero, the game is over. Bet you didn't see that coming. I mean, so far this game is sounding a lot like a weird sort of cross between Endless Runner and uh, Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Let's take a look at that lineup. Who made this game? AJ Ryan is the game designer and programmer. It's like AJ, Ajax, Ryan. You need a cooler nickname than that. James Rushman. You need a cool nickname like James the Jackhammer Rushman, the game artist. James the Jackhammer. And Stylin Ryland Froling composing that funky music you're listening to right now, which I am very much enjoying. I'll be completely honest on that one. And uh, so that's pretty huh? early. So let's go ahead and do as the game commands and press starting. The controls are simple enough. It's one button. Sometimes you push it once, sometimes you push it twice. See, everything's all happy. And there's this sort of happy little, oh, yep, happy little Pac-Man. All right, so... Grab the hearts. Okay, the hearts refill your sanity completely, apparently. That's good. Okay. Alright, kind of getting the hang of it. Uh, you got to sort of do that double jump thing almost immediately, I think, to get that. Whoa! Ooh, more happy. Ooh, happy mask. Look at me. Ah, I'm happy. Clap along if you feel like a copyright infringement suit. <laughs> All right. Oh, man, I just stepped right on that dude. Did you see that? Oop. All right. And Coasties ain't got nothing on me and my mask. I am putting on a happy face. All right. I think maybe I... Oh, <laughs> do I get two masks? Or do I just... Okay, wow, it's going a little faster now. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, come on. Come on, get me little turtle dudes. Turtles are moving at kind of like a pretty regular uh, interval here. Oh, oh, bounce from one into the other. Oh, 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 geez, now it's all ugly and fast and yucky and oh, I got the Jason mask and okay, so at least I didn't lose any sanity from that, I guess. All right, so now I got to look for the big bloody hearts. There they are. Okay, happy again. Oh God, let's stay this way. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oof. Ah. I need my medications. Oh my goodness. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's so cre Ugh, creepy crazy. Oh man, look at that dude in the background. He is so very interested in everything I'm doing. Oh, oh wow. That's a wish place to be, right? With your sanity's in the middle, because I can do that flash back and forth thing. Heart, heart. Oh, turtle. All right, Jason mask. Uh, I, I, uh, turtle, turtle again, and uh, Pac-Man, and I died. I want to have the highest score ever. Like, the, I, I'm going to be the unequivocal, undisputed champion of Arcade Hysteria. None of you can beat my score. That's, that's the way it's got to go. But it's got to be higher than 2,700 for that to happen, man. I need, like, a, I need a five-digit score. That'll, that'll really impress the ladies at the nightclubs, man. Thundery! Ah! All right, there we go. Okay, we're back in Happy Land. Stay in Happy Land, please. I really want to stay in Happy Land. I really don't want that big old mean moon looking at me like a sun, I guess, or whatever it is. All right, give me the happy hearts. Happy hearts are all I need. I do not need to take crap turtles. Fastest turtles ever. Oh my god. Stupid ghost. All right. Ah, ah. Okay. 
Ugh. Oh, jeez. Come on. I can do this. I can do this. I, stupid ghost. I... I hate those ghosts so much. Those ghosts are completely uninvited to my next birthday party. Which goes without saying. I do not have a habit of inviting the undead to sup with me on my days of celebration. You know, call me racist or old-fashioned if you must, but, you know, simply will not hang out with the undead. Bet the reason why those hearts aren't coming out as quickly as I'd like is because Martin Shkreli, like, bought stock in those stupid sanity hearts. Raised the price by, like, 50,000%. Eight glasses of water a day. Self-care. And, uh... Always, uh, you know, eat right, get a little exercise, run out in the sun every... Even if the sun kind of grimaces at you every few seconds. Try to avoid Pac-Mans, they're only going to bring you down. So this is... this is life advice this, that's happening right here, you guys. This is... you know, this is life advice. See, what's really going on here is, you know, because... You know, I'm trapped in this arcade machine here. With these insane things. Which, uh, okay, so, real talk for a second here. I'm not really I'm, sh I'm not certain that the meta-narrative of the being stuck inside a game was entirely necessary. Like, I, I feel like that was just, that's a little extra padding. Like, I mean, which is not terrible. Like, but... I mean, definitely, if, if all you said to me was, oh, you're you're a dude that's running along and try not to go in, you know, and, and at a certain point, you're, you, the screen goes all wonky and insane, I'd be with it, man. Like, you gotta realize, man, I grew up in an era with, like, Mario Brothers and Zelda and all that other stuff, and it was like, you didn't need to have to get all this stuff explained, man, you know? Not like modern gaming nowadays where it's all like, you know, my, my frame rate is slightly off and so, you know, it breaks my immersion when the, the skin tones of the the brown people I'm shooting in Call of Duty to, is not exactly right and perfectly bump mapped, uh, you know. Like, meanwhile, I grew up in an era where it was like, okay, let me get this straight, so I'm, I'm, I'm a plumber and I'm working a kidnapping case for the Princess of Fungus who was stolen by a spiky turtle man. And uh, one of his soldiers is a sentient bullet that only travels in, like, one straight direction, not even a parabolic arc or nothing. And if I find a whistle, I can jump ahead. I'm game. Just, I'm, I'm good, man. Just hand me my raccoon suit. I got this, you know. And, oh, you know, don't forget to eat a lot of mushrooms. Like, and, like, and for that to not even be a drug, like, a direct drug reference. Just a sort of, that's just the way it is kind of thing, you know. That's the era I grew up in, man. You ain't gotta over-explain this shit to me, man. <laughs> like... In fact, you know, the more you explain, the more I'm, like, sort of just sitting there really close and going, Okay, what am I... What am I doing? What is this even, you know? I like that this game lets me make up my own story. You know? Like... I'm good with that. I would like more hearts, though. That would be great. That would be great. I'm never gonna break three grand if I don't get more hearts. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, you stay away from me, you stupid Pac-Mans. Pac-Persons, whatever. Give me that heart. Alright, we are back on positive track here. Here we are back on... There we go. Ha! Keep them demons away. Come on, we can do this. High score, high score, high score. We can do... Oh, shoot, I just looked up and noticed I'm actually much higher than I thought I was. And I, I looked away, and that's what happened. Gotta stay focused on your sanity here, man. What's Style and Ryan gonna think, man? You're not gonna be worthy to jam to his to his jams if you don't pay attention. Oh my goodness, but still. 4748. 4748, you know. Oh. I'm out here catching Pac-Mans. No, 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 y'all oh man, the ghosts are still like I really do honestly feel like the ghosts are practically unavoidable. Like, frankly speaking, I think they're just auto ganks. Like, you know, one's coming and you're up there. Forget it, man. Because, like, turtles at least you have a little bit of save with, you know, with the, the ghosts. Forget it. If you're up there, it's because you're actually dodging something nine times out of ten. So, them ghosts feel weird, real ganky. But again, you have to make that area dangerous somehow, I guess. So. 
the quadrant or the half of the board, I guess, whatever you want to call it. God, jeez. Oh, at least I had that mask. Ah. Alright, no, no. Stay away from me. No, no. Alright, hey. Alright. Things are looking Millhouse. Everything's coming up Millhouse, I should say. I'm gonna use the dog on reference. Better get it right at least, huh? Alright, yeah, that out. Oh, you get a little bit of. Uh, I just noticed that you get a little bit of your health back by jumping on dudes. Good to know. I mean, that was in the instructions now that I think about it, but man, who's got time to think, man? Just trying to focus on my life here, try to get seen, try to, you know, reach a state of normalcy here, which can only be reached by stomping on turtles and eating hearts. Oh. Oh. Come back to normalcy here. Come on. Oh. 4811. 4811. So close to 5,000. So close. Well, I'm going to let it sit tonight at a high score of 4,811 points in Arcade Hysteria. You think you can do better? Well, guess what? If you have an Xbox One, it's not going to cost you anything to try. So, you know, if you can do better, go for it. But uh, I, 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 as far as I know, I am the king of Arcade Hysteria with my 4811. And if anybody comes along and, and presents me with physical, like, show me a screenshot of you getting a higher score than that in Arcade Hysteria, and I, I'll just try to beat it. I will. I'll sit there and I'll just sit, sit there all night. I will beat your score, you know, hell or high water. If you haven't already, I do hope you choose to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out some of the benefits that I have for my Patreon folks over at Patreon. So that's patreon.com slash zmanzilla. Thanks for joining me, and hope you have fun. Stay sane. Stay sane. Each one of those I can't believe it. How I do? Can you believe it?